Hey y'all, it's Lulu and I'm going to do your week five, which will actually go into the 1st of November, but your October week five weekly um, mudra reading, darling. Now, um, earlier it came to me that um, this these readings are beneficial to those it resonate with because it ain't going to resonate with everybody by it being a collective air, fire, water, or what have you, right? So, <clears throat> with that being said, I feel that um, as long whoever it resonates with and you are doing that part of the work that you need to be doing, you are also assisting with connecting with others who are doing it. So it's like a synergy. So even for those that doesn't resonate with us, they are still benefit from, benefiting from it by you working on parts of yourself with everything, right? But um, you working on parts of yourself or um, using that focus um, throughout your day, throughout your time, because everything that you touch you change everything you change changes you but there's also like a, do a domino effect right or like my mentor says the butterfly feet right so i just thought i would um express that because i really do appreciate um since i changed over the readings from being one way to another and um y'all ain't been tripping about it i appreciate that because y'all know <sighs> flighty things be changing i be but this feels good i even like the energy um I even like the energy that um, that I get when I do these as well. It's a totally different energy than the um, monthlies, right? With the individual signs, this is a collect. These are even more so collective. Just like the other, the general readings are um, a collective for those that it resonates with. But I really feel like I don't know why. But earlier I was just feeling like. It's something deeper to it, but we'll figure it out as we go. So thank you so much for um, working with me with this uh, whole thing because I don't know each one of these mudras, right? So thank you. Now, I'm going to do water signs. Angels, what information do you have for the water signs for the fifth week of October? <clears throat> what do you have for the fire signs? Excuse me, for the fifth week of October. What do you have for the earth signs for the fifth week of October? And the, I put water twice. Air. What do you have for the air signs for the fifth week of October, please? Too many. I'm not gonna do them too. What do you have for the air signs for the fifth week of October? Okay. <clears throat> so water. You have the Mani Ratna Mudra. Okay. And with this one. In this week, I really feel that you want to be very heart-centered. You want to, even though I don't think this is a heart-centered uh, card, but this is just balancing out um, that heart energy throughout the rest of the chakras because it feels as though there's a need to, um, some of you may want to meditate a little more than what you have to uh, get into that because it says oneness here, but it's more, what I'm picking up is that um, there's an, um, all-knowing water signs, right? There's an all-knowing, all-seeing that they want you to connect with in this week because I really feel that it's going to be important to... Um, it's going to be very important that you see things from a different perspective. You understand how... Um, you okay so you may be settling conflicts this week you may be um, bridging the gap um, between who you were and who you have now become in your transformation I also feel that there's going to be um, a coming together of sorts between you and someone maybe you've already been dealing with them or this is someone um, who you, there was some long uh, some distance between the two of you 
and you will begin to um, feel closer to uh, certain people and within this week I also feel that many of you are really getting in tune with how quickly your um, how quickly your how quickly what you say manifests into your reality so you may be seeing that and that's even more reason to go into deeper meditation or uh, meditate a little more this week so that you can be mindful of what it is that you are putting out knowing that it will be re um, things will be revealed to you quickly like i just get quick right um, i also feel that um there may be a need to um bend here and it's not that you are losing your uh, it's not like you are um doing something um out of um that isn't of integrity it's just that you are seeing where there may be some compromise in certain situations as well and w what you would need to do to make things right and so this could be work or family i don't know there may uh some of you may even uh cuz i believe m many of you may have a green thumb or something to do with working with um, herbs or um, any type of foliage, right? So what I get here is that, oh, so some of you may have, okay, so you, you may have a green thumb or you may just be finding out how to work with herbs and you're seeing how these things really work. Like you have a lot of power, a lot of power of the hands, right? But I also get here that some of you may have some lucid dreams about your body parts being um, trees, limbs, foliage here, okay? Um, and you may be in a space of what the hell does that mean? But it, um, I really feel that many of you are really grounding yourself to the point where you are beginning to be familiar, get more familiar with your particular tree of life. What part of, because I really feel... Okay, I really feel that um, when it comes to um, tribes, right, finding your tribe, being a part of something or what have you, there are different trees and a lot of different people. Like, we're all part of a, one huge something. Okay, I'm not getting deep into it. But um, some of you will finally begin to see that um, you're um, growing even more with your tribe. You are growing even more with... Um, just knowing what your tree is. I hope that makes sense to you. So let's see what this is about. This is about spiritual union, balance, integration, right? Now, it says that it benefits, uh, it supports and balances all of the systems of the body. It directs breath and awareness throughout the body, and it opens the crown chakra. Now, you will hold your hands like this, right? Hold your hands like this. And um, relax your shoulders and move your elbows slightly away from your body. Your focus is, I experience the oneness of everything. I experience the oneness of everything. I experience the oneness of everything. Because you're a tree. And that's what trees do. Move forward. Fire signs. Unity. Trishula. I just have to eat it like that. <laughs> Trishula Mudra. Okay. Trishula Mudra. This is about unity. Now, um, it looks like it's uh, in this week. Hmm. Why do I see an elephant? All right. Unity. So I really feel that this week, for some of you fire signs, there will be, I think that this has, okay. There may be a calmness. There may be a calmness um, to um, how you do things this week. What do I mean when I say that? So. I feel. That this week. 
um, many of you may be in a space of um, bring like there's a want like there's a wanting to make things right there's a wanting to make things right there's a balance in your personal life a balance in your personal relationships a balance within right some of you may be stabilizing a lot of energy this week or um it, what this may have to do with for you is how you see things you're taking on you know there's always um different ways of looking at things different ways to do things or what have you and I feel like this week you will be taking on more of a um, balanced approach to all the ways that you like you will be able to analyze things much quicker than maybe you used to you will be able to make decisions this week without having to um, go back and forth with yourself or ask certain questions this, I don't know why I feel like someone's taking on some projects Right. And um, really having a clear head at which way it's going and how it's going and how um, to move forward. Hmm. There may also be. Um, the balancing of the ebb and flow of what you give your attention to and how you um, proceed. And this is like in every like y'all balancing completely out. And with that stabilization of whatever energy just came in, some of you may have had a download. But with the stabilization of any of the energy that has come in, I feel as though um, you may have uh, jumped timelines here. Like you, whoever you were just a month ago, you are totally different. You see things totally different because you integrated that new energy and stabilized it to the point where now you're in a space of um, you figured out what happened real quick even though you are not fully aware of all that has happened but this is that um uniting of like the angelic self or what have you just higher energies even if you have begun to integrate the energies of some goddess or uh, a god or what have you i feel like it's really um you are really balanced out and you're more powerful than you were for some time so let's see trishula mudra so this assists with unification, clarity, equilibrium. It uh, supports the nervous and endocrine systems, improves mental clarity, activates pituitary, pituitary gland, awareness of all senses. Make damn sense. Okay, move forward. Now, you will hold your hands like this, and you'll hold your hands away from your body, fingers facing outward. So you lay the thumbs over the pinky fingers, extend other fingers straight out, and hold your hands away from your body, your fingers facing outward. So this will bring in that clarity, right? So your focus or your affirmation for this week is clarity fills all of my senses, leading me to unity with everything. Clarity fills all of my senses, leading me to unity with everything unity with everything oneness 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 unity with everything many of you may be in the space of realizing that things bigger than you and that's one of the smallest things to understand when you realize this shit bigger than me like for real when you really real, I think that Oprah had that in a master class one year when she said that about, I think they asked her something about um, how she um, does what she does and what keeps her going. And she just had, she said, that she realized it's bigger, it, things was bigger, things were bigger than her. She just came here to do a couple of things and this is where she thought it was going and she ended up doing something different and helping a whole lot of other people. So I feel like some of you may begin to see that whatever it is you are working on, whatever it is you are working towards, what, like the coming together of sorts with others as well, you're going to realize that the plan, the soul contract, that whatever it is you signed up for and how you thought that um, how you were um, reviewing your life, how you um, the things that you may have been uh, raised to believe, you are now realizing that this shit bigger than me, right? Much bigger. So everything that you do, you it, it just feels like you are you have a coming together of sorts when it comes to that clarity. Okay, 
move forward earth signs this is harmony tramutra trimurta trimurta mudra hmm. harmony and here we are now earth i feel that this has to do with um i think i've seen this card in this series before move forward that don't mean that it means same thing till we read the back now there may be um some of you may be in a space where it's very important um that you um are really seeing balance when it comes to people you hold dear to you or close to you um because i feel like there's this there's this energy of not just keeping the peace but just walking in that peace right um making peace some of you may be making peace with your past right or making peace with yourself over some things that have happened in the recent past you may even be dealing with someone who's a resonant soul here and trying to make peace with that and trying to figure out how to do that or what have you. So you work on yourself first and then what needs to be worked with someone else. You can proceed in that manner if that makes sense to you instead of trying to, as soon as you feel like you know what will make bring the balance, you shoot from the hip, right? You want to just get yourself together first. Because what I, what I feel is if you've been having um, any clogs, um, if you've been having any issues with, um, some of y'all may not be laughing a lot or because you're moving into the space of peace, but it's on you how you balance this because I really feel like, um, there may have, there may be, um, instances where you want more. Right, so they need you to balance. Uh, this may be sacral energy. They want you to balance um, out your emotional desires. Balance out, um, bring into full harmony. In a, you know, in alignment. Get mind, body, and spirit is in alignment. My mind, body, and spirit is in alignment. Right. You want to bring harmony to those areas, your lower region. Right above the root, below the solar. Right. Um, if you've been having any type of digestive issues or if you've been having any issues with um, the filtering, the liver filtering, um, any, you know, you, you want to be mind over matter with this. Use your intuition and, and your logic comes second, right? And you balance it moving forward because I really feel that many of you may have finally come to a space like you've been waiting, hoping, wishing, like for things to just settle waiting for the dust to settle, um, waiting for something new, or just um, feeling fulfilled. And it comes first from within, right? I also feel when you get to this space, a lot of answers will come through for you because your intuition has already uh, kicked up. So I really feel like a lot of answers will come to you once you balance out um, this energy within you. It'll, it'll become your, once you do it within, you'll see it on the outside, whether it takes a few days or a few weeks or what have you. It depends on your intent and your ability to stick to it, right? Um, because just doing something one time or just thinking about this is how you want things, like that don't fix stuff right off, depending on how deep the reconditioning is, right? Or how deep the um, balancing needs to go. Because sometimes um, some one thing can outweigh the other so much so that it's kind of hard to sustain balance with just one try or trying to work things, you know, it's going to take some time, I feel. Moving forward. Now, it's also important this week for you, Earth Sign, to really get um, heart centered. I got that with water. Some of y'all may have water in your chart. But um, focus on those things that make you happy. Focus on those things that are a known joy. It can be a food that your mother cooked when she was when you were young that brings you into harmony or what have you. Because you may e even be distracted, easily distracted this week. And all you want is just to get away from certain people because you just want to do your job. Um, so you want to like 
take mental notes of what throws you off course or what is um, intrusive or destructive to you during this week, what throws you off course, right? And just, you know, as long as you are mindful, you will be able to balance that back out. You'll be able to get back in, get your groove, get back in your groove without being so dist um, thrown off because this may be unfamiliar to you. This may be like, you may be in a, because with this Scorpio season, things have been, okay, most of my uh, people have told me that, you know, they ain't ready for this water energy, right? And, um, of course, y'all know how I feel about water moons. We just had a Scorpio new moon. I don't play with no water moons. Now, I feel like some of you may, will need to take the high road in certain situations. You will need to um, just be. No matter who tries to throw you off your shit or what have you. So let's see what it says here. This assists with life transition, equanimity, and balance, right? Um, it benefits menopause, fertility, and pelvic issues. It cultivates emotional balance and support. Harmonizes change. All right. So you'll hold your hands like this on the front of your pelvis facing downward. And you will rest the hands on the lap. Palms facing inward, lengthen your spine and relax your shoulders. Your affirmation is balance and harmony accompany all of my transitions. Balance and harmony accompany all of my transitions. Balance and harmony accompany all of my transitions. So it is. Beautiful, Earth sign. Beautiful. All right, last but not least, air signs. And why does it look airy to me? Because it's blue, probably. Um, a calm and peace. Now, this is inner truth. Samputa Mutra, right? Hmm. Now, air signs, um, this is about you knowing who you are, knowing what is right, trying to do what is right, but you are in tune with your star player. You are in tune with your truth in a certain situation, and it feels as though it's important for you. Um, they're saying that you don't have to, this week, express everything, right? They're saying that sometimes it's better to keep things uh, to yourself this week. Sometimes it's better to... Um, when you, instead of trying to stop something from occurring, allow things, people, and situations to be. Because at the end of the day, as long as you are in, in tune with who you are and how you do things, what needs to happen or transpire, you won't even have to say anything because you're in tune with your star player on this one. I really feel that a lot of people may be um, asking for your advice this week. A lot of people may be in a... a um, drawn to you this week um, seeking answers okay and I feel that you will need to use your discernment this week when discussing certain things with certain people you will want to use your discernment with um, do they just want to vent or do they are they just venting do they need are they asking you to um are they asking you for your thoughts, opinions, solutions? So you want to use your discernment with this this week because I really feel, I really feel many of you may want to, like, them. okay, so don't be combative is what they're saying, right? What I'm getting from this because I see a mirror. What I'm getting from this air signs is that it's going to, it may be very important for you to face yourself, face your truth. And you may want to use the mirror for this, to really look deep within your own soul this week so that you will be able to um, speak your truth to you and your higher self. And this also has a lot to do with also um, even getting in tune. If you're not in tune with your star player already, you can get in tune with your star player by doing this. And you just really want to call yourself back into your own possession, right? But I also feel that when it comes to mirror magic or just... Um, Facing, excuse me, facing, being accountable and facing your truth in certain situations, the mirror is going to help you this week, right? Um, this is also about um, 
not going by what others say about you and just standing in what it is that who you are and how you do things here. So this is uh, bringing a calm clarity to um, you as sovereign ruler of yourself. So this brings in self-awareness, self-discipline, self-mastery, self-transformation, the tops, right? Because this, is, this week is going to be very important for you to really align with your true north if you aren't already. Um, this is uh, going to be a good week for you to align and, and train your mind as well as um, use magic. Your magic will be very powerful as long as you are in tune with your star player, right? There's a lot of people who do magic and still be powerful, but we're not discussing them. We're discussing you and you and on your path of um, assisting the collective. So the Samputa Mudra says it assists with integrity, truth, and communication. It brings balance to the throat and vocal cords, assists with the immune system. It opens clear communication. It supports balanced metabolism. So if you are even, um, like, if you have any type of, like, if you, you, the doctors have told you that you have thyroid trouble on any level, you want to do this mudra, right? But let me see if they have any, um, okay, they don't have any, let's say caution, right? But I think this will really help with that, especially when it says it helps to balance the metabolism. Um, that's where that mirror come in again. Okay, so what I learned when I be working out every now and then. Guess I'll start back. So it's that season. When you are working out in the mirror, um, you get in tune with your star player. You see the muscles where you want them to, where the muscles are. You also see yourself burning the fat. You also see yourself doing um, whatever it is that you um, are trying to accomplish when you are working out or when it comes to losing weight, right? Or really just um, having the energy. Because some of you may have been feeling lethargic. But really having the energy to do, to take on the tasks that you need to. So you may want to do this before you work out, before you eat, or what have you. So moving forward. So you hold your hands like this, right? Palms facing down, cupped over the top of the left hand with fingers resting on the outer edge of the left thumb. And you bring your hands into your belly center. And this also may move things for you. What you need anyway? Because it'd be a lot clogged up in there. Don't nobody want polyps in their 60s and 70s. So go ahead and start working on all that. Now, don't nobody want all that back up in there. Because you know what it do? It make your feet heavy. Your focus with this will be, I speak my truth clearly with integrity and compassion. I speak my truth clearly with integrity and compassion. I speak my truth clearly with integrity and compassion. So it is. All right, y'all. I love y'all a long time. I'm not doing the surrender cards here today. Okay. Well, I should, shouldn't I? Let's go ahead. Because Melissa 444. Which I don't know how what numbers them do to her, but then my numbers right there. But Melissa Four 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 is will um do the timestamp at the bottom. So let's see. Or Nick, one of them. Whoever um, does it first, I just pin it that have all of the um information in there. So what does the water sign need to surrender this week? And remember, we are working with collective energy. So whatever you decide to do and other people are doing it all around the world. It brings, it just helps so much. I can't explain it. One candle lights a thousand. Something like that. What do the fire signs need to surrender this week? What do the earth signs need to surrender this week? What do the air signs need to surrender, please? All right, water signs, they're saying that you need to surrender to silence. They say in quiet, quiet meditation or contemplation, let go and enter the stillness within. Scent, uh, silence can heal and replenish you. So, like I said, I feel like water signs going to be going more into meditation this week. It's right here. Surrender to silence. Take a chill, Peter, water sign. Look at all that water. Do like my ex used to do. If I start acting a fool, he would... Go on here. I just look at him. His feet will be shaking. I'd be like, what's going on? He was like, I'm on my island. He was like, I'm on my island. And he would say that he, like, this would have something like, something similar to how I vi visualize his island. Because he'd be like, I'm on a hammock. Drinking whatever he was drinking, right? And he would always be like, I was in the water trying to get to his island. <laughs> so go on your island. 
water signs, surrender to silence, surrender to what is, surrender to um, reevaluating and re um, and reevaluating what it is that you want moving forward. But it's time to quiet the noise because you may have been so busy taking care of other people and trying to do other things, and it's just time to recharge your battery. So especially for the empaths, because you know. Empaths can get drained and then not recharge their batteries when they need to because they hadn't been mindful. They've just been going, going, going because they've been lifing and adulting. Get to the point where, damn, now you're almost about to break down. So, it's time for more meditation. Okay. Now, fire signs. They say surrender to setting limits. It is healthy to set boundaries in relationships. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. So, fire signs. They want you to um, be mindful of um, who you are giving your time, energy, and efforts to. Um, they also want you to know, too, when it comes to setting boundaries, you know, you don't want, it's not even necessarily just relationships, I don't feel. Well, everything is a relationship, right? Even with coworkers. But it just feels as though, um, when it comes to certain thoughts that you may have creating that boundary as well, there are things that may be, um, you may be dwelling on mentally and it's time for you to just really, you know, let that nagging, um, thought that just keeps coming, coming like, look, I can't solve you right now. Tear your way. Set that boundary, right? Because we have to be mindful that, um, a lot of time, you know, nothing is lost in the universe. So the subconscious don't lose nothing. It's going to pick up all of the stuff that, out of nowhere. That's why sometimes you can be doing this and that and then all of a sudden a, a fucked up thought will come like, where the hell did that come from? The fuck? So you want to set those boundaries, but you also want to make sure that you are protecting yourself as well because I really feel that some of you may even um, be having some anxiety this week and it's about setting limits. Like, this is as much as I'm going to take with this or um, these. this anxiety is not mine. This is not of my doing. This is an interference. Don't let nobody interfere with your peace. Now, earth signs. Surrender to your intuition. It's time for you to see things as they are. See things from um, the all-knowing, all-seeing. Tune into your inner voice. Be aware of any gut feelings, uh, flashes, knowings, or aha moments that come through to guide you. So they want you to really... Um, not feel as though everything has to be in uh, black and white. Try not. Of course, y'all here identify all y'all. But, you know, people get caught up. So, whatever. But um, surrender to um, just because you, things may. Um, when you get in tune with your star player and that inner voice, right? What you're doing is um, you're opening yourself up more to all of the infinite um, possibilities, like things that may seem like they are, like, I don't know how that's going to work. That don't even make sense to me. She tune into your inner voice and let them guide you because you'll know when to hold them and when to fold them. You'll know um, if you should go left or right. Seriously. Because I feel as though many of you may come to the space this week where you have a number of epiphanies, but um, and, uh, uh, there may be about three or four golden opportunities on any scale, right? But there may be three or four golden opportunities for you this week, but some of them may be missed if you are not in tune with your star player um, or listening to your intuition. You may miss up certain things, but that doesn't mean that they won't come back around. But all I'm saying is what I'm getting from this is that let it come through and guide you. Air signs, surrender to stress. Surrender stress. Take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center, right? I think I um, discussed in one of the other uh, mudra readings or some reading that I did here on YouTube where um, anytime you are feeling overwhelmed or you feel as though you can't quiet your mind or you feel as though shit just out of hand and you're beginning to feel it in your body, you know, that's, it done got too far, you get to feel it in your body. Right, because we're trying to catch it while it's out here, so they won't make it hurt. And one of the most important things, um, uh, I forget who um, that his name was William something. I read it somewhere the other week or uh, whenever that was. And I did. Now, you take four. You inhale with a four count. Exhale with an eight. It clears shit up because the last thing you want to do is um, allow this stress or any anything that can possibly harm 
your flesh suit, right? Because we're trying to keep our flesh suit as healthy as possible while we got it so that we can continue to do our work. Because, you know, ain't no sense in having an unhealthy flesh suit but a sharp mind. What is that going to do for you? It can do something for you, but you know what I mean. Now, um, so we're working on all of them. Mind, body, spirit. Mind, body, spirit, right? Spirit got the aura covered. Now, they want you to really, like, relieve yourself of um, any stress. Some of you may be having some issues in your back or the back of your neck here. When you feel that, you know what I'm saying? When you feel that, it's important for you to relieve yourself of that as soon as you feel it. Because it ain't it got too close to you. It ain't it, too much of a burden. Release it. And be unapolog release it unapologetically. Because some of you may be in a space where people think that you are being nonchalant about certain things. Like, um, oh, you just don't care. No, it ain't that you don't care, our sign. You have to relieve yourself of certain things because if not, it's going to um, cause some resentment. It's going to uh, break down certain parts of the body that you really need. It's going to um, move you to a, a space of stagnancy, complacency. So you don't want that. You want to go ahead and relieve yourself now. Um, some of you may want to uh, put a pillow between your thighs when you sleep. Um, there's something that I'm hearing about um, a lining of the spine when you sleep. And you also want to make sure, because I know I have to, you want to make sure that um, you got your neck um, um, positioned. Get a body pillow or some of them long uh, California king size pillows and make it a body pillow. They be having them at home goods for the low and they be worth it. Goose feathers. All right, I'm finna go. I pray that this message resonates with everyone uh, here. I love y'all for being patient, and I thank y'all so much for really um, hanging in there with me. Um, since I've been pushing myself to do these weekly, didn't even know that y'all were really helping me to be consistent with weeklies. I kept on saying I can't do no weeklies. <laughs> what the fuck is a can't? All right, let me get up out of here because it's about to get crunk, and the mood was beautiful.